The problem with humanity is its tendency towards self-indulgence. It's not poverty or ecological collapse or war or disease. It's simply an issue of the stupidity of man. This is especially evident in the people I'm surrounded by. High schoolers. They are the most petty, mindless, and materialistic beings one can find. Charles Bukowski said it best. I don't hate people, I just feel better when they aren't around. It's hard not to agree with Mr. Bukowski. These creatures of insignificance are deplorable. And how can they improve themselves? Simply by dropping dead. problem was. You called her boyfriend a disease-written maggot. And? Most people don't like to hear themselves or their boyfriends be insulted. And no one calls anyone a disease-written maggot. I do because he is. And it's the truth. Michael's such a gross creep. It's not my fault she's an oblivious idiot. Perhaps they deserve each other. This is why my film is so important. Yeah, yeah. You're making a film about why you believe people are the scum of the earth. You know that's not what this is. It's supposed to make a point. The video is a completely viable expository piece on the selfishness of New York's youth. In other words, you're mocking our student body. I'm not saying that people shouldn't care about more important things and being petty or whatever, but one, not everyone in the school a is like... A very large portion of our that, population. That, and two, we have to do something more beneficial to rid our populace of these whiny idiots. I would never use such a mundane phrase as whiny idiots. And it is beneficial. It's like an alternate universe answer to Honey. You're on Reddit way too much. She's a total psycho. And yet you're helping. Yeah, seriously, dude, the girl's a nutcase. <laughs> the film is easy, she's, she's the hard part. But this could help me move forward in journalism and filmmaking. So, what exactly are you doing since you're definitely not putting together her expose? That's exactly what I'm doing. Imagine showing that at a film festival. You know, there's true irony in the self-entitled girl who wants to reveal others' issues, but is revealed to be awful herself. So what are you going to do about her? looking for you. All right, I'll be there in a second. Well, what are you going to do about her? Good luck with that. Don't need any. Are we going to start? You know what you're gonna say? Don't worry about me, worry about yourself. All right, go, same as you sent me this morning. The problem with humanity is its tendency towards self-indulgence. It's not poverty or ecological crap. This doesn't seem right. Make it bigger. Huh? You want to make a point? Make it huge. Who cares what people's reactions are? It'll teach everyone. You're totally right. Look at yourselves. Humans had always been selfish, racist, and violent. Today, too much freedom has made us lazy and adults materialistic. Comfort is easily found and we are drowned head to toe in luxury. Stupidity is celebrated. Brawn over brains, beauty over integrity, and social media rule us all. We must use these crippling devices to our advantage, not to pine after the most reblogs, likes, or retweets. Use media to make a difference, like I am, using a camera to not create propaganda or spam, but to document something that can make a difference. Can you? Will you? I'm glad it's going well. Well, as you said.
said, I am the expert. So, Coke or Pepsi? What? Coke or Pepsi? Soda. Dr. Pepper. Why? Hmm. Because we are partners, as Molly pointed out. I should probably know a few things about my partner. And same. Same? I like Dr. Pepper too. Oh. Film. The Heathers, The Godfather, Juno. Oh. Oh. I just didn't expect it. Why? I mean, who doesn't love Juno? I mean, I just didn't expect us to have similar interests. You have good taste. No. Are we filming? Wait, 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 no, 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 no! I realize that. Wait. Never mind, that doesn't matter. How's the film going? You fell. It's good. Well, good thing. Come on. What? I'm gonna buy you a cup of coffee. Why? I would say it's about the film, but I just got the new Black Keys album and wanted to show it to someone who would appreciate it. How do you know I like the Black Keys? You wear those shirts all the time. You coming? I don't know what to do. About what? The film, probably. What's wrong? Princess giving you a hard time? <laughs> yeah, but not in the way you think. I can't do this. The film? <laughs> but you love this film. It's not right. But you knew this. It was exposure for exposure, remember? Of course I remember, but I can't do this to her. I can't imagine how people would react. The point was to get a reaction. I was right. You like her. No, I don't. Well, what are you gonna do? Nothing. There's nothing to do. I don't like her. Uh, <laughs> I meant the film. I really don't know. So, how's that? What? Did it seem good? Fine. I'm not feeling it. Second fine. What is this? I can't do this. What? The film. What do you mean? I've been using you. Excuse me? I've been using you. I've been using you to help me make a film expose. Uh, hey, would you let me finish? It was about you. I was going to show how terrible you are to everyone, but I was wrong. And it sure as hell won't help you do it to yourself. How the hell is this screwing up my own life? I'm showing everyone who they are. All you're doing is showing everyone who you are. I thought you understood, but you're like everyone else. I trusted you and I was wrong. You are wrong. You'll see. What are you doing? You're wrong. You'll see. So fake. What the hell is your problem? I'm no goddamn Queen Madonna.
breathe. Wish you never. Hey, hey, listen to me, you son of a bitch. Don't touch her. Just stay out. Hi. Can we talk? See that one right there? Where? There. It's a real strong light. Straight one? Yeah. Oh wait, look, I didn't ever, I didn't even notice that one. It's okay. a soft one, like a little bit to the left. Look, you see those? That they like curve. Yeah. That's cool. And then that one on the end lines up with that one over there. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. Never noticed how nice the sky was. You were right. I was so stupid that I thought I could make a difference. It was my mistake. First step to making a difference is to not be a hypocrite. Perhaps you're right. Imagine that. I'm so sorry. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, I did. Who do you think I am? You're bitter. Opinionated and judgmental. But you're also witty and funny. And strangely enjoyable to be around. And you have great taste in movies. You're not so bad yourself. Chuck Palahniuk had it wrong when he said, You are not special. You are not a beautiful or unique snowflake. You're the same decaying organic matter as everything else. People each have something unique to share. I offered a unique ignorance and bitterness. Another person I know offered a slap so hard across the face that they send you on your own path of discovery. Some give guidance, a chance for redemption. And I hope all of you extend that gift to me. It's something I'll need to reach for, but I'm ready to teach myself humility to earn forgiveness. I owe it to all of you and he who took a punch for me. I'm ready to face what's coming. That'll be my own personal adventure and perhaps my own strange self-indulgence. Oh.